What's up, heroes? Mike here, bringing you a great ninjutsu build to use in Neo 2, whether you just got the game because of the complete edition just coming out, or you've been had the game already. I want to make this video for both beginners and veterans. And because you never know, this is a fun build to try out, and so there's some people that may have not tried a ninjutsu build yet in Neo uh, or Neo 2. So, starting off with the main weapon here of choice to use is the uh, Kusuragama. Um, pretty much if you've seen like Ninja Assassin, you'll recognize this type of weapon or play Neo 1 as well. It's a very fun weapon to use, very satisfying to just kick ass with and clap cheeks. Um, the secondary weapon here is a Swift Hawk as part of the Master of Illusion set, which I'm going to further right now. Um, basically, this set is going to be the main set, primary set you use. There are a few alternates I'll go over as well, but you basically just need the six pieces, Swift Hawk being the secondary weapon as i mentioned and then the armor set as well because this it's a fantastic set as you see with the bonuses with ninjutsu damage unscathed plus 10 percent there ninjutsu power plus 52 it's amazing faster key recovery uh when ninjutsu is used and then 15 percent untouched ninjutsu and if you can add on to that that's just like even better because that means you're not using as much of your kunai shuriken stuff like that um damage bonus ninjutsu power as well triple a there it's just incredible now you can grind for this uh, armor set after unlocking way of the ninja veteran uh dojo mission which is around the end of region three begin of region four um just amazing to have a lot of fun and this is what i end up using uh once i was able to unlock it for the rest of my playthrough and going to accessories here next real quick because i want to touch on this uh right away is you know, to add to this, accessories are great additions to help boost your strength in certain stats. So with this being a ninjutsu set, um, you want to focus not necessarily on medicine case, more so writing set if you can. Try to get you some good writing sets uh, because they're automatically going to come with the ninjutsu power here as you see. Uh, but if for whatever reason you can't find a writing set or a good writing set that works for you for this build, med med medicine case is another good choice as well. And as you see here, it's got the good shuriken and kunai damage added on there. Uh, a third option, and just in case you're struggling for whatever reason, to even get medic medicine case or writing set, uh, I'll show you one I used early on that helped me out a lot, is a gourd, surprisingly. This has both good ninjutsu power and shuriken kunai damage to it. Defense is not the greatest, like I said, or I found this and used this early on uh, in my playthrough with, my, with this build, so... Like I said, you want to find something better and stick with that. Um, alternate sets, though, I will go into next here. All right, so an alternate set here you can use that can still work. It's not ninja too specific, but it's still pretty good. Ruler of the Riverside Yokai. Uh, if you want to build towards this as well, it's going to be really good for the Kusuragama. As you can see with the bonuses, you know, efficient Yokai abilities, uh, whirlwind damage water damage you want to focus on some water damage abilities and melee damage as well and then increased attack and defense when it comes to cursor gamma i see they're really good stats there but not my personal pick but like i said if you want to experiment and try it out go for it another one here that you can try to aim for maybe use that's not really as good uh in my opinion and some of you guys may agree with me is the head of the um i guess i believe i get ninja uh, stats here, ninjutsu power is plus 45, which is really good. Uh, melee damage plus 6.5%. Increased attack and defense with a spear, it looks like, for this particular one. Uh, and dash key consumption, negative 18.2%. Like I said, it's not as good. I believe this set was probably in the first game, but looks like it's been nerfed. So, just another option. Just keep your, you know, open mind about things and just kind of figure out what works best for you. What's your playstyle with this build? Now going to the blacksmith, because uh, some of you guys might be thinking like, well, what do I use early on, you know, if I can't get this armor till, or start building this armor, you know, until like mid to late game and everything like that. Well, I'll show you what's a good alternative begin armor set to use. And you're gonna come across Shinobi Hood and Fuma Ninja gear uh, early on. Now Shinobi Hood, yes, it's got the ninjutsu power automatically in built into it. Um, you can craft it or you can just keep like running for it when you loot it from enemies. But it's just not as good as the Fuma because you want to focus more on the Shuriken and Kunai damage. That's going to be better for your damage output overall. So that's what I ended up using a lot through my playthrough until I was able to make the Master of Illusion build. 
And then going back to equipment here, because I didn't touch on this. Now, when it comes to the ranged weapons here, um, it's kind of dealer's choice. You know, you do what you want here for the most part. I mainly use a hand cannon and rifle. They do a lot of damage. I try to pick good ones that'll work for me with this build. And so far, these do. And just love them, especially the hand cannon. Um, I'm going to go into items here to use next. So let's go into the ready jutsu part here. All right, so actually, let me shortcut this real quick. So the main throwable weapons we're going to be using is shuriken, kunai, storm kunai. Storm kunai is mainly for bosses. Uh, shuriken is going to be just for like weaker enemies, and then kunai is going to be for like heavy damage, basically. Uh, barrier talisman is nice to have to help with key regeneration, especially when you're in the dark realm or you know uh, yokai realm, basically during boss fights and other fights. Uh, power pills really good to use as far as like basically when you're about to finish off a boss just pop that real quick and just start melting uh quick change scroll one of those is the cheat de cheat death mechanic uh in this game so it's always good to have around uh, i didn't really use it till towards the late game uh flaming heron feathers is really good to apply fire damage like very fast and does good decent fire damage as well too weakness talisman is just funny to use uh basically use that to lower the defense weaken the defense of your enemies and poison shuriken as well too can't forget that um basically when we need to apply poison and just have fun weaken enemies with that as well too so yeah that's pretty much all you need to make there as far as the main stuff if you want to add anything else to it uh such as like bombs that's fine you know go with that uh because those can be very effective as well using against enemies something else i don't want to forget to tell you guys about and talk about is the uh, skills here as far as uh, your ninja skills so as you see here I got pretty much everything unlocked um, you want to focus first on the shuriken here uh, get the shuriken upgraded let's see as well shuriken shooter get that and kunai as well definitely and then go up here to get uh, storm kunai gonna be freaking incredible so as i mentioned earlier you're gonna these are the main things you want to focus on first the north area basically uh you're gonna go for the ninja tool mastery as well to increase your capacity let's see uh throwing blade technique is gonna be important as well to increase your throwing damage with this and there's not too much else required i would say i mean uh definitely if you can get concealment that'll definitely help out a lot as well with this build but yeah mainly this area uh you don't necessarily need to get pinball shuriken that's not all that good the coins nah cow trap balls nah um you can if you want mess around with fire shuriken i didn't really use this but if you want to use it early on that's cool uh you want to build towards getting the uh shadow arts here not the raging feathers but i meant the flaming heron feathers uh those are this home and do some great damage so definitely a good one there and then your quick change which is right here um attack power pill down here uh everything else you kind of just you know do it what fits your needs you know as i kind of did basically um if you want to mess around with trying to you know do the sneak attack that's good there there's some catwalk scrolls you want to unlock that for like since he's sneaking around trying to farm stuff like that but yeah that's pretty much it something i forgot to also talk about is key uh weapon stats so as i mentioned also about earlier see here we got uh ninjutsu power for example on there um you want to focus on ninjutsu power you, you want to go to the blacksmith temper uh your armor accessories stuff like that to get ninjutsu power not only that but also let me go back to the medicine case from writing set because i don't have this on my armor um is the shuriken and kunai damage if you can like basically reroll that to go on your armor um that's going to help you out a ton just dish out more damage and melt bosses much quicker melt everything much faster 
Uh, another thing to look out for, I'll go actually go back into here with the gourd. Because uh, you may notice this earlier, but I forgot to talk about is the nope, it's on the gourd. Sorry, I take that back. It's on this one. It's the other mess in case I was using before. I apologize. The untouched and ninjutsu. If you can boost that up as well, because you already get the armor bonus for an un untouched ninjutsu, I think 50%. So the mu as much more you can boost that up, plus your ninjutsu power, plus your and kunai damage, the more you'll be better off doing damage. And untouched ninjutsu, you just won't use as much of your kunai. Uh, I see that's all it comes down to it there. It's freaking amazing. And I think something here I did roll onto another good one. Uh, as I was mentioning earlier with the bombs, I got that bomb damage that I put on here as well to help with that. So in case you want to roll, look like I said, gunpowder bomb or shrapnel bomb, that's going to help you out a ton more as well too. Like I said, nothing, this is not like required by any means. You know, you don't have to use gunpowder bomb or shrapnel bomb like that or have bonus bomb damage. It's definitely optional, but I love throwing bombs at enemies and just wrecking them. Now, next up, let's go into character stats as far as, you know, what key stats you want to build into. Let's go to shrine. I'll go to level up right here. Um, so as you see, I got a shit ton of Amrita, but uh, with a ninjutsu build, your main focus is going to be dexterity. But before you get to that, uh, you want to focus on constitution, get to 16, because this is going to be required and good for uh, certain armor skills and sets here uh, as in the skill I believe not constitution per se but skills also important to level up that to help with your armor set as well as your spirit your guardian spirit and appearance beyond you know constitution and skill you want to go into decks and just maximize the hell out of that um, I did put some stats into magic because uh, I was originally going to have this be at 6 but I need it for more capacity basically so in order to make like the four weakness talisman you saw earlier and two barrier talisman you're going to need to get to uh 12 which is going to make your total level about 137 so if you're willing to put in the work and the grind it's going to be worth it trust me and you're just going to wreck so yeah uh that's not too much else to talk about there other than guardian spirit at this point and i'm gonna show gameplay of how this build actually works um so when it comes to guardian spirit uh, now, this is just my personal pick because I'm just, I love the brute. I love the brute counter. That's what I mainly use, but it's not exactly ideal for this build. Um, this, like I said, my personal use for this. So I went with the Hirohama, Hami, sorry. Uh, mainly because of the poison aspect. You know, view poison and the life drain with the melee kill as well, because I love like getting life back basically it's freaking amazing um but really the primary one if you want to you know get good with this is the feral uh so the neck nekomata spirit which is the feral uh main one here um i just had my personal issue with this is i had issues with trying to do the burst counters with the feral versus the brute brutes is much easier for me to do the burst counters with when it comes to those unblockable hits but ideally this is what you want to use for a ninjutsu build as you can see here go down you know you gain your anima charge here your throwing weapon damage is going to be increased your ability damage extended burst counter feral uh and then i put the yatsu no kami soul core which is basically a big ass snake creature uh because this helps with you know poison and good melee damage and after that it's kind of whatever you want um you know initially you're only gonna have two slots i do have a third slot there but i didn't put nothing else with it because i felt these two were just good great enough for this so yeah that's pretty much it let me show you how this thing looks in action in the voice of twice submission i am playing this on dreaming of strong first new game plus so this involves the gozuki boss as well a fairly easy boss to take care of and showcase what this build can do and have a lot of fun with it uh, i will be using my personal like favorite guardian spirit just because i like the brute more so than the pharaoh in terms of boost, burst countering and stuff like that uh so i'm not using the ideal spirit but if you can get good with the pharaoh version go ahead go ahead and use that by all means all right let's get started okay we'll take out the guy first Oh, 
Looks like it did extra backstab damage in. And that's why I like that burst counter. <laughs> More so. Alright, take care of you guys. Some fire damage on you. Uh, that's why he does do that. He's just melting though. Normally you you don't want to use these hitting the uh, enemy in the front, but he's basically dead, so just take care of him real quick. Get him, I like to just put him on. That way he just gets days like that, and I can just take him out real quick. And just one shot these guys. Here's this big guy. Oh, he didn't do it. Come on, big guy. Do the move. There we go. Look at that key damage. Good, getting that good backstab damage in with the kunai storm kunai just melts as i said so hopefully you enjoyed this hopefully this build helps you out and gets you wanting to try it out and i plan to make a few more different builds for you guys help you out especially since neo 2 collect complete edition sorry came out on pc ps5 and ps4 thanks for watching i'll see you next time Hey heroes, hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please smash that like button. If you're new here, please subscribe as well. And if you already subscribed, well hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my content. That's usually the best way to keep up with my YouTube videos and I upload almost daily. But if you want to catch me live, I stream on Twitch Tuesday through Friday evenings at 6 p.m. Eastern and Saturdays at 12 p.m. Eastern. Link in the description below. But in the meantime, you can check out these videos that popped up right here and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.